It's time for Jim and Stop Trading. New CEO Luxman Narasimhan over at Starbucks, but continues the policy of raising the dividend uh, four, four cents. It, it, look, it doesn't sound big, I mean, I, but I will tell you this. The thing that matters about Starbucks is it's become quite a hated stock, uh, and I think that that's a mistake to hate it. It's a giant. There's a new Starbucks every, it was a 7.5% increase in the dividend. Uh, there's a new Starbucks built every nine hours in China. That's not slowed down. China does. They have four, uh, you buy China for China. China needs people to hire. Starbucks does it. I've not seen anything that indicates that Starbucks is being hurt in China. America, if they just done $28 million more, you had a higher comp number. And I'm looking forward to Luxman uh, really being the, the more than just the operator, but the face of Starbucks. And I think he's going to do a very good job. Uh, I wish him well. And I think people should stop giving up on Starbucks in China because it just no, makes no sense. So you're not worried about the threat from Luckin or some of the local riots? No, not, I'm not nearly as much as people say because they have so many more Starbucks that they can put up. And it's not like people aren't going to Starbucks. It's kind of like Apple. Like people are still buying Apple. It's just that the, the perception in our country, which has become so gloomy about anything, is that Starbucks is doing badly in China but without you, any reality. I hear you say it's a hated stock. Starbucks is hated. Yeah. It is. It's hated. What, they changed my flag. I do. Oh, now you've got, actually, yeah, move a little suit. So now what is it? No, other, there you go. What is that? What do we Can call it? That? Can you make it but anyway, I just, I, I, my chapter is on Starbucks. I'm going to be talking about it at our new meeting. And uh, there are certain stocks that have become pariahs that I think shouldn't be pariahs just because they, frankly, have some sort of uh, taint that has to do with the communist Chinese. It's called that. And I think it's probably wrong. So tonight... Okay, so we have one of, one of the most exciting companies out there. I'm very pro-nuclear. I just put my cards on the table. It's Constellation Energy. This is the cleanest energy company in the country. It's meant to be that way. Joe Dominguez is going to put it all in context. And I, I think people better realize that you, you can't do – you got to get rid of coal. Uh, eventually, natural gas, even though natural gas is cleaner, but it does have methane. And nukes has to be on the case. By the way, Southern's new, new plant's working. The vote. So um, anyway – a constellation is really incredibly interesting. Can we talk about Yeah. Man, the UK and some of their net zero U turns getting a lot well, of attention that in something? Europe today. Yeah. Yeah, they cashiered yes. it. Yes. Hey, how's, how's, uh, how's Ford doing with those contact jobs? Good. Jim, Good. we'll see you at 6. Uh, Mad Money, 6 p.m. Eastern time.